Hi everyone, welcome to our Friday session. Sorry I'm a little bit late here, I just had something I needed to take care of. So we're a few minutes into the open. Let me get to my monitor. The, uh, the market made a rather substantial move pre-open. Let's go back here a little bit on the eagle and you're going to see was in a bit of a tear to the downside here about an hour before. Yeah, exactly. Mark just typed in uh, as a result of the uh, negative non-farm payroll report, which is a biggie. And uh, the market just fell like a rock. Nice little rule of three signal right here that developed just as the report was coming out and boom, down she goes. So obviously things a little bit more bearish, a little less sunny than everybody was anticipating. Uh, after a huge move like that, however, you can see we've just gone sideways going into the open and now everybody's anticipating or trying to anticipate what's going to come out of the open it looks like they're a little bit reluctant to head lower at this point and are they really going to try to get into that opening gap Well, the Hawk thinks so. We already had a first micro macro cross signal here. And the Falcon, we had a trend change signal there also. But I'm going to give them just a couple more minutes. Sure, Jim. Jim's uh, shooting me some advanced decline numbers. Terribly lopsided, as you might expect. Only uh, just shy of 600 buyers and about 2,100 on the sell side. And let's see, Jim said, can you show me a 6 and 11 cloud on the YM? Those are his particular settings of choice. All right, here it comes. Oh, I think you want to see the uh, support and resistance suite on there too. One second. Okay, it's just loading. Here you go. So here's the YM. Uh, 
uh, working on a little bit of a, a trend change, possibly into a hard edge bounce. A lot of yellow bars. Let's roll this back a little bit here. I know Jim's probably curious about the, the band. Uh, band was quite wide here, wasn't it? So it looks like we went from about 106.45 to 161.14. Uh, let's see. All right, so the current width of the cloud is your 159.27 to 159.64 so yeah just about 40 43 ticks got a real quick little test of the extreme right here just that little stutter step and then it looks like they made tracks toward the hard edge Yeah, I think we're going to see them uh, tra chopping about a little bit here. I do suspect a rally. Um, well, we haven't really got a, a signal just yet. I'm going to give them just a couple minutes. That was a major, major decline out of the open. Left an enormous opening gap.
Oh, and the choppiness continues. How long have we been in? Okay, the market's had about 15 minutes to digest the news, so we'll get a little bit more serious here. See, whenever you get a well-established zone like this, it's always tricky, right? We got the market kind of stuck within a range like this. Anything we attempt to do with this is going to be a little bit of a crapshoot because we are in this larger overall zone. Once we get outside of that zone, all right, well, then we can probably get some direction, but right now, it's a little bit dicey. Okay, making a bit of a higher swing low, working on a red bar buy. Hmm. <laughs> well, no, there they go. Okay. It's getting a little bit too bullish too early. Just waiting for a little bit more structure here.
Let's see here. Um, Jim's asking about the NQ cloud. We are at, say, 41.16 to 41.24, so about a dozen ticks. This one up here was 41.34 to... 4128. So that's what, about 16. They're actually. Did we check the test the bottom end of the range? Yes, we did. So we're still very much range bound between here and here. <clears throat> the Falcon uh, with a trend change signal right there, and it looks like they're going to try to test the upper end of the channel now. First micro macro cross. Good follow through on that signal right there. Uh, we've got a little bit of room here until we get back to this 4135 region. Some conflicting signals. You can see we're getting a green bar cell. We were working on a first micro, or pardon me, a macro pullback signal there. are getting a red bar buy signal. Now this one is interesting because we don't have a real test of the extreme yet. I am getting into the signal a little bit late, but you'll notice we haven't had 
uh, I tested the extreme, so I'm hoping that maybe, there we go. We're going to see that little bit of a test of the, the extreme, which we did. Not the type of trade I think that you want to go in with a runner. And at least maybe not today. It seems like the trading very, very choppy. Now first micro macro cross. Problem with this one is we've got all that resistance at 41.35, right? So this is a little bit of a crapshoot on this one. That's why I've got the stop way, way, way down here. Come on, get up there. Ah, just tap the break even trigger. We'll see now whether or not that was fortuitous or whether it took us out too early. Ah, darn it, took me out too early. So here's the uh, the first hour range, the 10 a.m. range, and like Jim said, it's kind of a tight little little setup here from 37 down to 11, 25, 26 points, and we're hovering right in the middle of it. So this is essentially the range that we were bracketing on the eagle also these are the highs and the lows that we're contending with Some pretty quick little moves here. Our signal just keeps waffling back and forth. Look at all these yellow bars. This is, well, 
sort of a rule of three. We're getting all these green bar sell signals against a bullish bar. Pardon me, a bullish band. Wow, what a tight little range today. few more buyers in the mix. Um, Jim says the events declined 700 on the buy, 2100 on the sell. That's still a negative 1400. The problem is when the numbers get that skewed, uh, a lot of times it's because of that big move out of the non-farm payroll, the NFP. Well, it'll give the talking heads lots to uh, discuss, that's for sure. Jim just wrote, he said, a European trader told him that next week a ton of EU bankruptcies are coming forward. Yeah, that'll weigh pretty heavy on the euro and probably put a the old stink eye on the uh, North American stock indices also. Okay, well now we're at the bottom end of the trading range. Uh, the the hawk still performing pretty well. A nice little first micro macro cross back here. This eagle very sloppy rule of three uh, did turn out, but you know at the time it was printing. I suppose we did have the great big test of the extreme. Then we also had a smaller test of the extreme. But at any rate, it did drift back here to the bottom end of this trading range that we find ourselves in.
could be seeing the market just starting to wedge up a little bit, give us a little bit of a pennant style formation where the the buyers and the sellers just keep wedging the market up something like this Yeah, they're not, <clears throat> not looking to get out of this little security zone at the moment. Here is a, uh, a signal on the Falcon, which we could cover like so and look to try to take to back to the top end of this trading range around this whole 41, 30, 35 area. I think if we got it here to the uh, resistance line, that would be a pretty good move. So just looking to try to take advantage of some of this sideways congestion that we have. It doesn't appear as though they have committed to a direction just yet. There we go, get up there. There you go, come on. You can do it. See these little tails that are starting to build? There's a great big tail. We should be able to get to our profit objective now. Come on, get up there. There we go. And uh, I have a feeling we might see 41.30, but then the market's going to collapse from there again and perhaps check the bottom end of the trading range. Crude oil in a little bit of a slide. Here's crude oil. Um, I'm a little bit late on this one, too. I just glanced over, but this is how it, it was producing. I was watching this soft edge cell develop. We were against the ATR. This became our signal bar right here. <sighs> Doggone crude oil. <laughs> i got to put more money in the crude oil account. Let's see, what would it take? Something like that. But it does look as though crude oil is going to try to make a move lower.
Okay, so we did get a little bit of a red bar buy here. The follow through is going to be very difficult whichever way we go. Uh, look at the follow through off of that red bar buy. This is very similar to the one that we looked at before, where there was no real test of the extreme. This is the ideal red bar buy setup when you see something like that. No test of the extreme. You can be fairly confident the market's at least going to try to retrace against these highs at least, you know, about 50, 60 percent. And then you get one of those. So, monster move higher. Back to the top end of this whole trading range that we've been observing. We did break out of this pendant type formation that we've been tracking. Let's see what comes of that now, if anything. Attempting to recover into the this morning's gap. Or at least that's how it looks right now. And a little bit of a trend change signal going on here on the Falcon, a macro pullback here on the Hawk. Okay, actually an early trend change signal. And we're getting a soft edge sell here on the uh, Raptor. I'm going to try one of these just because we've been kind of following the width of the, the band here. And I do believe we have a, a wide-ish band. So around 41.40 half to 41.30 half. Well, it's not as big as most. 
The soft edge cell is always preceded by this little test of the extreme, whether it be a soft edge cell or a soft edge buy. I guess I'd better enable a stop here for the rest. We'll get the rest of that trade to break even. Come on now. Come on. Don't you dare. Come on. You scoundrels, get down there. The uh, Geiger counter selling off pretty good. A little bit of a spike there. No! <laughs> oh, one tick. One tick from my profit target. Oh, one tick from my stop. <laughs> This is a little bit too cozy here today. Oh, you stinkers. So let's just remeasure that. So 41.40 half to, well, at the deepest point, 41.30. So, yeah, just about 10 points, 10 ticks. Or, pardon me, 10 points. That hard edge shoring up the market pretty good. Late filter entry signal here on the Falcon. That might see the market drift lower. We know those late filter entry signals are pretty reliable. Taking some serious heat on this one. When the market is this choppy and it looks like we've got a little bit of an uptrend and you're producing a late filter entry signal, the key to this is you got to put your stop as far away as you can. If the market reverses and takes me out here, well then obviously this is one of those rare occurrences where the late filter entry signal actually failed. Hopefully we would get a chance somewhere in here to see the seller show up again and give us a chance to adjust this trade a little bit. Maybe take some of that open risk out of the equation. Ideally, I'd like to see two red bars produce. Of course, now we're working on a trend change to the upside.
Okay, so if you are short here, you could probably bring your stops in, you know, a little bit above here. Uh, it looks as though if the market's going to fail around 41.43, then it's probably a good time to suck up that loss. The last ditch effort now on the part of the sellers to actually bring the market back down. And here too, you can start to get more aggressive with your stop loss order. Perhaps looking at something like a parabolic or even a bar high low, you know, which would keep it a lot tighter. Let's see where parabolics are at. Yeah, so parabolics would just have you back here. Looks like risking approximately half, about $125 on the table there. Come on, sellers. Hmm. Buyers really putting the brakes on them. Yeah, very lethargic day, Jim. Jim says it's kind of lethargic today. Yes, sir, it certainly is. All right, making a little bit of progress. Um, yeah, Jim's asking why not a, a taking profit here at the um, support line. Uh, it's because I didn't actually take this trade, so I can't adjust this profit. But yeah, definitely. You know, there's no point in getting stuck for ten dollars. Take the profit when you have it. Get the ninety bucks. So we were just demonstrating this late filter entry signal back here how you would need to run a, a relatively wide stop at least initially to write out a possible swing and there we go we just hit our profit objective so it was you know a solid signal but when these things are printing this way sometimes you just got to give them a little bit more room to start and that is so much easier said than done Okay, while we were watching that, it looks like we had a first micro macro cross right here. A hawk just coming through big time today. 
This first micro macro cross obviously failed, but you did get a chance to adjust your stop a little bit. So here's a first micro macro cross to the upside. Let's say you set it up, you'd probably set it up like this. Now you're coming in with a red bar buy. Well, now you know this is your last chance to do something about your stops. So you may want to start being more aggressive, rolling your stops up a little bit. And there you go. You would have been stopped out right about there. It looks like for about maybe $90 or $100. A lot of waffling today, no question. This is a very funny day today, trying to get a handle on what they're doing. Notice here a lot of double dots starting to print. Okay, I'm getting a funny little red bar buy signal here. Okay, this is now the one that has turned the ATR over. So the ATR was against this signal. Once this bar completes, it will flip the ATR over, essentially becoming our signal bar. And it looks like we're going to get a chance on a second push on that entry. Look at that. What an evenly uh, spaced bar. <clears throat> so this is one of these tug of war bars, you know, where the buyers and sellers are really trying to sort things out. The buyers take it for a couple of ticks. The sellers take it for a couple of ticks. So now we've actually changed the bar color over We're into a green bar now.
Hey, come on, buyers. Don't walk away now. Let's go. <laughs> Anytime you're ready. <laughs> come on, get up there. Come on, don't stop now. You know you want to. You want to get back up here and test the highs, remember? Take a look here at the YM while we're waiting for that trade to unfold a little bit. And yeah, it's a pretty tight little range for the YM, all right. Like Jim said, only about 100 ticks, that's, or 1,000 ticks, that's not very much for the YM. From down here at 159 to up here at 160.10. Guess that's about 200. Still a pretty tight little range for the most part. Oh, come on, Eagle. Get going. Trying to make some progress on that, but just dragging their feet. I should just be trading the Hawk today. Here's another first micro macro cross. Nice follow through on that. Trend change signal here on the Falcon. Would have got us in a little bit earlier than what we experiencing here on the Eagle. Just about to our break-even trigger. There we go. 
Now, I really don't want to see them turn around too much here. Come on, get above this high. There you go. There you go. Because I'm pretty confident we're on the right side of this trade, so I could have canceled the break-even trigger. Don't want to ride out another swing here if I can help it. Flinching a little bit here at this 4145 region, which is to be expected. That's these highs right here. Come on, you can do it. Just a little further. There you go. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. There we go, okay. So pretty good signal across the board. <clears throat> we just did the eagle signal. And here we are again, right into our support and resistance line. And the market starts to put the brakes on a little bit. I wonder if we're going to see a reaction here and watch the market tail back off here to 4130. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, not getting it so far. See here on the N NQ, so forty one fifty half, forty one fifty one half, 
down to 4140. So that's about 11 ticks wide so far. Could be getting a little bit overbought. So we've kind of gone a little bit sideways after that beautiful little rally to the upside. Well, not much else going on really. Soybeans kind of stagnant. They're moving uh, more or less sideways today. And um, crude oil, while initially looking bearish, has also gotten quite flat.
Jim says he's not used to this slow of a pace. Yeah, I know. This is reminiscent of the summertime. There's still some room here for them to uh, rally, though. Where's that next resistance line? 172. Oh, that would be the primary support. That would be huge. All right, well, the seller's finally starting to dig in a little bit. So we have some resistance forming. We're getting a couple double dots building. Might get a soft edge sell here on the Raptor. We'll see if we don't get a little quickie little test of the extreme here. Just a little pop up, a failure to take out the high. Nothing too elaborate. Could be just a little single bar higher. Okay, the hawk drifting into yellow bars now. That's the first sign that things might become unstuck for the buyers. <clears throat> Excuse me. The macro pullback spoiled by the yellow bars, but here comes that little hiccup that we were talking about.
And here's a possible trend change signal now in the Falcon. Oop, I spoke too soon. It was just starting to set up as a trend change. Nope, no trend change signal just yet. Market's still unwinding higher. Well, you guys, not a whole lot going on right now. Um, I think we might call it a day. Um, if you are going to hang out this afternoon, we're back right in the middle of the opening gap. This whole 41, 64, 65 region. And, of course, we've got primary... Uh, support just above us at 41.72 so I would be cautious as a buyer I think we could see the market retrace a little bit here especially as we get closer to the noon hour there could be a little bit of profit taking going on um, but We've had a monster move down and almost as big a move back up. So it's been kind of a seesaw kind of day, but we did okay. Picked up a handful of trades. All right, you guys, I will catch up with you again on Monday. Have yourselves a nice weekend. We'll talk to you then. Bye for now.